Dr. Makweli. This showroom sells cars. And this is Dr. Makweli. She needs a new car. Bigger than her cabrio. Let's go and choose one. There are so many different cars. Let's look at them all. This is an electric car. The trunk opens and so does the hood. It has large wheels, but you can't carry a lot of tools in a car like this. Let's look at another one. This is a sports car. It's very fast. But it's a racing car, not a work car. Dr. McQueely, let's continue. This is a yellow two-door sedan. Beautiful but too small. You can't fit all the tools in it, so it's not suitable. What else do they sell here? Another sports car, except it's green this time. Let's look inside. Too little space as well. Do you have any bigger cars? Look, a small blue lorry. It's made specially to transport goods. Sit inside, Dr. McQueely. No? You don't like it? You would like a more comfortable cabin. Oh! Found it! This big red minivan! It has sliding rear doors so it's convenient to load your tools. The cabin is spacious. All you need to do is add the Dr. McQueely inscription. And now a test drive. Oh, it stopped. The car has broken down right in the showroom. Let's check it out. No problem. They just forgot to put oil in the engine. Each car has a special device to measure the oil level. This stick is called a dipstick. It shows how much oil is left in the engine. This stick also has two notches. They show the minimum and the maximum oil level. There is clearly not enough oil in this car. Let's add some more. Unscrew the cap and fill it with oil. Done! You can start the car. 
you can start the car. It's working. Dr. McQueely has repaired another car. Dr. McQueely. Look, a small yellow car is having fun driving up and down the hills. Dear little car, be careful. Always look ahead on the road. Oh, see, there's a nail in front of you. The little car didn't notice it, and now its wheel is damaged. Don't worry, dear car. Look, a tow truck has come to save you. He will take you to Dr. McWheelie's garage. Hold on. Ready, steady, go! Meep, meep. We've arrived at the garage. Dr. McQueely is waiting for you. Come down, little car, and move on to the platform for the inspection. Thank you, tow truck. See you next time. Well, let's see. Ah, it's clear. We need to fix the wheel. First, take off the damaged tyre. Let's find the nail. Take it out with these pliers. As usual, great job, Doc. But we're not finished. There's a hole left in the tyre. Doctor, could you please fix it with glue? Great! That didn't hurt at all. Now we can put the wheel back in its place. Now we need to pump up the tyre. Ready. <laughs> Little car, it looks like Dr. McQueely has a present for you. A spare wheel. Every car must have one. If you have a spare wheel, you can get to the garage yourself in the case of an emergency. Thank you, Dr. McQueely, for helping the little car and for all your advice. See you next time. Dr. McQueely and the Yellow Car Look, a little yellow car is driving along the road. And here are his two friends, two little trucks. Hello, little car, says the blue truck. Come for a picnic with us. Little yellow car is very happy. And the friends drive on together. They take a right turn. The vehicles are driving on a dirt road now. There are puddles and holes. Be careful everyone. Oh. It looks like the little yellow car is finding it difficult on this road. Don't worry, says the blue truck. Dr. McQueely will help you. 
She always knows what to do. Beep, beep. And here is the garage. Dr. McQueely is already waiting. Little car, hold on tight. Dr. McQueely raises the platform up to examine you. I see your ground clearance is too low and you need to change the wheels too. Let's start with them. One. Two. Now let's increase the ground clearance. Front and rear. Great! And now fit bigger wheels with deep tyre treads. Little car, here's a gift from Dr. McQueely. A roof rack. A winch with a cable. And a tow bar at the rear. You are a real cross-country car now. You can go on a picnic. Have a good trip little car. Send me a photo. The little yellow car can now drive on any road. And here is the turning. The little car found his friends and all day long they played and talked. And in the evening, they watch the sun go to bed. Do you want to see how Dr. McQueely helped other cars? Then choose a new story. <laughs>